Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today I got another Vegas Pro 18 tutorial for you. And today I'm going to show you how to stop Vegas 18 from crashing. And just in case you didn't know, Vegas Pro 18 is also included in Vegas Post, which is a post-production software that includes Vegas Pro, Vegas Image, and Vegas Effects. All of all that information and affiliate links posted in the description below. So without further ado, let's jump right into Vegas 18. Okay, so we're inside Vegas 18. Now there's three things you could do to prevent crashing and have much better performance while editing, specifically in Vegas Pro 18. The first settings you want to change, if you hold the shift key and then go over to options and select it, and that's going to create the secret internal menu in options. Click that. And here you can adjust a bunch of internal settings inside Vegas. You could totally break Vegas if you change some of these numbers around. So be very careful. But what we're going to do is if you type in some words down here, it's going to filter it out for whatever those words are specifically. We're going to type open CL slash, and then that's going to filter it out to two things right here. Open CL slash GL interop. These are hardware acceleration codes that are old and outdated and are eventually going to be removed from Vegas. So they provide a bunch of weird glitches and whatnot. So I always disable them. So you just go ahead and click in here and then take away true and type false and then click the other one, type false, and then hit apply. It's gonna say you need to restart Vegas before it takes an effect, and that's okay, so hit okay. We will restart that in a second. Now the next thing you wanna do, we go up to options, go down to preferences, and then here, go to file IO. You're gonna see a few options right here. The two important ones are enable legacy AVC decoding and enable legacy HEVC decoding. You wanna make sure these are checked. If they are not checked, Vegas is going to be using an SO4 compound reader DLL code that's written to help boost the performance of Vegas, but in turn, it does cause crashes that are unavoidable. So if you check this, it's going to use the old way of decoding footage, but you are going to sacrifice one thing. Vegas will not be able to understand 10-bit footage. So if you shoot in high-end DSLR, 10-bit footage, you have to make sure this is unchecked when you're editing that. But when you get done editing that specifically, check this box, hit apply, restart Vegas, and you're going to experience so many less crashes. Same thing goes for Legacy HEVC. If you check this, you're also going to have much less crashes. Also down here in Hardware Decoder to Use, make sure your graphics card is selected. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, make sure it's on Auto or NVIDIA. Both of these mean it's going to be using your graphics card to decode on the timeline. So you're going to be able to edit more efficiently and render faster. So once you're done with all that, hit Apply. It's going to say you got to restart Vegas for this to happen. Hit OK. Hit OK. And the third thing you want to do is go back up to Options. Go down to Preferences. Go over to Video. Then you're going to see Dynamic RAM Preview Max. Look at what you have maximum available, and I personally put one-third of my maximum available RAM. So I have about 32 gigs, so I normally put about 10 gigs of RAM right here. Hit Apply. It's going to say, hey, allocating RAM to Vegas may make other things kind of run slow. That's perfectly fine, especially if you have Vegas as your only thing open, and you want to utilize the power of your computer. So I do that, I hit OK, and then next, under GPU acceleration, make sure your graphics card is selected. This will utilize your graphics card to edit more efficiently and play back whatever's on the timeline, and it'll utilize your graphics card for rendering. So your graphics card will help make your renders faster. Next option is thumbnails to show in video events. This is normally on head, center, and tail, but I always turn this off to none. This prevents Vegas from loading a preview little thumbnail of what your video is on the timeline. And that takes resources because it's dynamic. And if you shrink or extend your timeline, it's generating a new thumbnail for whatever length that is. So I always keep it off and that makes Vegas run and render much faster for me. So go ahead and hit apply and then hit OK and then restart Vegas. And by doing all of those steps, you're going to have a very, very smooth run in Vegas 18. And there you have it. If this tutorial helped you out, be sure to shoot a like and subscribe down there because that'll really help me out. And if you want to support the channel through Patreon, you can do that as well. The link is in the description below. So thanks again for watching, everybody, and I'll see you all in the next video. And I want to give a special shout out to all of my subscribers up there at the top. Be sure to check out their channels for some awesome content.